Welcome to the Coca Granite World. Once upon a time in a small village lived four Brahmins named Alex, Jones, Jams, and Danies. They had grown up together to become good friends. Jam, Alex, and Jones were very knowledgeable. But Danny's spent most of his time eating and sleeping. He was considered foolish by everyone. Once famine struck the village, all the crops failed. Rivers and lakes started to dry up. The people of the villages started moving to other villages to save their lives. We also need to move to another place soon, or else we will also die like many others, said Alex. They all agreed with him. But what about Danny's? asked Alex. Do we need him with us? He has no skills or learning. We cannot take him with us, replied Jams. He will be a burden on us. How can we leave him behind? He grew up with us, said Jones. We will share whatever we earn equally among the four of us. They all agreed to take Denise along with them. Take Denise. They packed all necessary things and set out for a nearby town. On the way, they had to cross a forest. As they were walking through the forest, they came across the bones of an animal. They became curious and stopped to take a closer look at the bones. Those are the bones of a lion, said Jones. The others agreed. This is a great opportunity to test our learning, said Alex. I can put the bones together. So saying, he brought the bones together to form the skeleton of a lion. Jam said, I can put muscles and tissue on it. Soon a lifeless lion lay before them. I can breathe life into that body, said Jones. But before he could continue, Danny's jumped up to stop him. No, don't! If you put life into that lion, it will kill us all, he cried. Oh, you coward! You can't stop me from testing my skills and learning, shouted an angry Jones. You are here with us only because I requested the others to let you come along. Then please let me climb that tree first, said a frightened Denise running towards the nearest tree. Just as Denise pulled himself onto the tallest branch of the tree, Jones brought life into the lion. Getting up with a deafening roar, the lion attacked and killed the three learned Brahmins. In the end, Denise's instinctive wisdom saved him from the consequences of the other's curiosity and arrogance. It's a reminder that practicality and common sense can sometimes outweigh knowledge and skills. The moral of the story is that practical wisdom and common sense are valuable qualities, and intelligence alone may not always guarantee success. Disregarding the insights of others, especially those perceived as less knowledgeable, can lead to unintended consequences. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.